I don't, I don't even really know what to say about these. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, so I completely forgot to film my intro today, but Sue and I are here at the Goodwill. Um, we're already at the shelves. I don't know where Sue's at. She's here somewhere. Um, but we're gonna search the shelves here and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So, here we go. Let's get to it. All right. Ooh, this is actually like, I kind of like the lines of that, I'm not gonna lie. And it's marked Boulevard. China case. I don't know. I can't read that. Let me see if I can get it closer. Capitan Air Bridge. No, I can't. I still can't read it. Guy, what size is these to wear? These are sixes. Casey texted me last night and sent me this amazing picture of this doctor and unfortunately it's no longer here. She said it sold before I got here, um, but I'll just put a picture of it up for you guys so you can appreciate it. A shadow box clock. I don't even know what I would do with that. Guys. It's just kind of weird. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that. That is everything right there. I think we need it for two dollars. I mean, he needs a little touch up on his nose, but that's cute. Is this guy the most adorable <laughs> thing in the world? I know, right? Oh, and he hangs like, oh. Isn't he so cute? He is precious. He's this everything. I mean, his nose needs just a little boop with some brown shoe polish, but I think he's going to be he's okay. He's adorable. And then I just and this, grabbed this while we were talking uh, to Casey. She, I mean, she kind of expects it from me, though, as I'm, as we're talking. I'm just like reaching and grabbing oh, stuff off sweet. the shelf. It's a cons. It's like a, uh, yes. I think it's Tiffin. I think it's Tiffin because that uh, that gold is usually Tiffin. I don't know. Cannot say for certain. Looks 1940s to me. I love it. I think it's great. What do you have? Because I got distracted right. talking I about have coats. Some goodies. Yes. I have a lampshade. Mm-hmm. The reason I have a lampshade is, as you know, I've probably lost every lampshade in my hoard when the roof fell in on the schoolhouse. Yes. So I have to start a new hoard. <laughs> this is actually a very versatile shade. And as you can see, it's gonna go really well with Asian lamps. I which, like it, I like know, the shape. I put them together every chance I get. This little bugger, yeah, Japanese. Got some age. Oh yeah. I like it. I think I love it's the little cute. booties. I like the baby things, so do other people. This is just a cute little made in Japan mug. Mm -hmm. So it's probably older than it looks because they haven't used that kind of marking in a long time. And ordinarily, I would have thought that would have been within the last 20, 30 years, but that marking tells a different tale. Um, I got this just cause. It's just cute and it will sell. And it's 99 cents. And this might end up going Ooh, on to a tidbit tray. I like the edging on that. So do I. And I love the interesting edgings. And oh, this is nice. Um, I, I have to check this for color against some other plates that I have. But this may, in fact, be the top tier of a tidbit tray. Like we'll it. see. I like it. I'm going to move my cart. Uh, okay, so we've added a few items to our cart. Uh, one of them being this, which I think is a soup tureen. There is no markings on the bottom. 
And there is some crazing, but I'm absolutely in love with this yellow color with the florals. I also got this bookend with some little dugs on it. Unfortunately, there was only a single, but you can um, you can put this against some books and put them up against an edge. And also, I just grabbed some coloring books. Juliet has been really into coloring lately, so much so that she's coloring on the walls. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy her some coloring books. And uh, they're Harry Potter coloring books. I think they're adult coloring books, but that kid's always up for a challenge, so I'm going to challenge her. Also cats. Always. Hey guys, I'm just interrupting this video to remind you that today is the last day for our merch campaign. It's these shirts right here. Um, it is the last day for those. It is November 16th, 2019 for those of you who are watching it a year from now. The campaign ends this evening, so make sure you get your orders in. Back to the video. I am absolutely in love with this cat. <laughs> absolutely in love with it. It says G Armani. I don't know if that's like a play on Giorgio Armani. Or maybe it actually is. I don't know. The N is the symbol for uh, Capodimonte. It is Italy. 1984 Florence. Uh, I'm super not... Uh, the reason I'm not super excited about it is because of that tail damage. Also, there's damage on the bow. I don't know. I might grab it. They only want $2 for it. It seems like a really quality piece. And the damage isn't super apparent. If it is something special, somebody who can't afford it undamaged might be like, hey, I'll take that. So, you know what, for two bucks. And then, you know, Juliet might always want it if I can't sell it, so. We've also got these up here. So there's that. I don't, I don't even really know what to say about these. I don't even know if Sue saw these though. That's what I don't know. I feel like if Sue saw these, there would be comments to be made. Esco products. Interesting. All right then. That's a first. I don't think I've ever seen those before. All right. Now what did I miss? Did I miss anything else? I do kind of like this. It is Mark Hager. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is, Jocelyn. Uh, it is a modern sticker it even has a barcode it's 1999 oh look at that damage that i'm not even seeing because i'm so focused on the hager sticker darn it all all right well these are delightfully vintage and i think for ten dollars i'll take it uh we've got we've got a canister set here and there is a set of four that glare is not gonna let you ah set of four with lids and they're 10 bucks they do need to be cleaned up a little it appears but we've got magic erasers for that they work magic the bottom is marked uh 1977. So that's just a fun canister set there doesn't seem to be too much wear on the design this piece is showing a little bit of wear from what i can see it looks to be like a pretty good set I'm getting a little nervous about my cart right now. Alright, let's keep going. What is that up there? That's kind of pretty. Hmm. I feel like that needs a lid though. Maybe not. I wonder what the bottom is supposed to say. There's a stick, there's something under that sticker. I just really like that. I'm going to take Definitely a cat eating chocolate. Garden Queen. If it wasn't made of cast iron, I might consider it, but that's going to be a pain to ship. Right. Candle. Right, 
anything else? Oh, look. What is that? Gentle beauty. Oh, it's so lifelike. That's like kind of creepy. It's so lifelike. And there's no damage. Oh, I take that back. Look. Otherwise, I'd grab it. Action. All right, so I thought, how bizarre. But here you go. <laughs> it's like an art project. I thought I'm they guessing. were just stacked precariously on the shelf as I walked by. I was like, wow. Yeah, that but. That took some skill. Yeah. Uh, it must be an art project. I have no idea who did this, but it's pretty clear they did it on purpose. <laughs> um, and again, I'm not sure why. Wow, maybe you need to dish the tidbit trees and start doing something like this. Um, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm, oh, this is so I, weird. No, those aren't glue. I thought, I'm like, why would they glue two on top of each other? Well, I mean, why would they do this? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting concept. You no, know, in, it isn't. In some states, they call that art. We don't live in those states, thank God. This is Pennsylvania. <laughs> I don't care where you live. That's a bunch of plates stacked together. Okay, so we've got two restaurantware plates here. Shenango, China. So many of these guys, they're just little dishes, I guess. They're 99 cents each, so we're going to set those in here. Then also I was noticing this. That handle is just like intense. I don't know. I don't think it's really worth grabbing, but it was worth pointing out. Very cute little dainty bud face. Look what we just found. Two more of these. And neither has a lid, so I'm under the assumption that none of them are supposed to have lids. But look, it's a set of three. I don't know what it is about those, but I like them a lot. And I'm really happy that we have three now and that we decided to look a little closer. Now, we're gonna go look a little closer at the linens. They need to be looked at. Because I think we're done here in the rows. We have way far too many of those. Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe not, I lied. Do you see it? It's hiding on the bottom under the purple pail. One ninety nine. Pink satin glass. Uh, it doesn't look to have any cracks or chips. Gosh, we did better than I thought we were gonna do. It's making me a little nervous, but we're just gonna put it right there. Okay, well, I think we've had enough here at the Goodwill today. Sue is actually checking out, so we're gonna head to the car, but uh, we've got a cart full of goodies, and I'm pretty pleased with everything we got. Sue and I are now gonna be heading over to Finders Keepers Consignment. She's never been there with me before, so it'll be her first time. I'm kind of excited, but you guys will have to wait tomorrow for that video, so make sure you stay tuned. And um, in about two or so days, we will do a haul on everything and talk about what we paid for it and how much I can expect to get for it on eBay. So I will see you all then later. Fancy new camera. It is a fancy new camera, isn't it? You remember the last fancy camera? You had to write its little epitaph <laughs> when the fancy camera died. That's it was right. a fancy camera. <laughs> All right, well, before we end this video, I just wanted to talk, well, we just wanted to talk a little bit about an issue that's kind of weighing on us. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Andrew and I had talked a little bit about our disconnect with community aid. Uh, now, we had filmed a video about 
the rising prices of some of their items and a lot of you had left some comments and we said that you know we couldn't really speak to the clothing items uh, the prices of the clothing items being raised however today I received a message um, with a picture of the price of a coat and the coat was marked for $90 $89.99 to be exact. Yeah. And that really, that really bugged me a lot. It was marked $89.99 with a red tag. And those of you who aren't from our area don't know this, but the red tag basically means that it doesn't apply for half off day. It is never half off. It is always $90. And right now in Pennsylvania, I'm looking, it's cold. It's 35 degrees out. It's really it's, cold. It's cold. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there who, who need coats and who can't really afford coats and who go shopping at thrift stores for coats. And the fact of the matter is, they probably can't afford a brand new coat. I just bought a brand new coat. Uh, it was a Columbia jacket. And I paid $115 for it, brand new, Columbia. And this was a used thrift donated. store donated, donated coat, coat for ninety dollars well here's my thing now you're all gonna find this really really hard to believe but I do not walk the streets like some crazed bat landing on people screaming you are going to burn in hell I don't <laughs> but anybody who receives a coat as a donation to help low-income people and turns around and slaps a ninety dollar price tag on it they're gonna burn in hell. There is something so wrong about that, even if all they do is just take that one coat that was donated by someone who wanted to help people in need. If all they do is take that one coat out of the hands of the poor, which is clearly what they're doing, yeah. then as far as I'm concerned, they are committing a moral atrocity. That's a sin. I, I don't care what you believe. You can believe in God or not God or the cosmic muffin. It's a coat. You got to know. It's there a coat. There are cold <laughs> people. It's out not there. like the stuff that we rebuy for resale. No, that it's we a coat. Buy, that we buy for resale. I mean, like that stuff, okay, they're raising the prices. We can go other places and buy yeah, stuff. Yeah, we, we have it's, choices. We're at Goodwill right now. <laughs> and we will, ex we will continue to exercise yes. that choice. But for a low income person in need, in 30 degree weather in south central pennsylvania and believe me it gets cold here just to pull that one coat out of circulation and knowing, it wasn't prada no well, that's what i asked jocelyn <laughs> she said, is it prada? Prada? i'm like no <laughs> no well then how do we justify 90 dollars? someone donated that coat in the hopes of helping people yes well their face is getting slapped by this and the people who should be helped by this are doing without and yeah that's morally wrong uh yeah and on that note uh, a couple weeks ago about a week ago there was a post on one of the local groups um somebody was upset about the price of clothing at the local community oh, yeah. aid the lexus note and community aid's response was this <laughs> It's kind of like how I might appreciate the way a Lexus looks, but I choose to drive my beloved 18-year-old Honda Civic. It's because I also understand how to live on a budget. So we are definitely on the same page there. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm grateful for the things I can afford and I don't feel entitled to the things I can't afford. So Community Aid has something for everyone. Well, I beg your pardon, but everyone is entitled to a warm winter coat. There are some things that should just be a given everyone is entitled to a warm winter coat and i'm sorry um that probably sounds very socialist to some people but the idea of anyone going cold in this land of plenty is to me un-american now i know this isn't just community aid that has expensive coats i know savers is guilty of it savers has always been guilty of having outrageous prices let's be honest i've i've made a video about it actually but we have <laughs> never gone so far out of our way to toot the horn of savers yeah we have really lauded community aid and what they're doing for far too long 
and it, that's what makes this so hurtful. We really supported them in every possible way we could, and no it more. hurts. Uh, I, I regret uh, the promotion we did for them. I can tell you that we will not be returning to their no. stores. And <laughs> those of you on YouTube who don't follow me on Facebook don't realize this, but they, they have new signs up at their stores that say no unauthorized filming. Um, I, I can't say for certain, but in my opinion, this may have something to do with the video that Andrew and I put out. Well, regardless, it makes it very clear that YouTubers are unwelcome there. Unwelcome. Uh, so, yeah, you know. So, you know, it's just, it's one thing after the next with them. And uh, I'm, I'm just very upset about this whole coat situation. So I, I did put a post out on Facebook and I, I was looking for local coat drives and places that people can donate their coats uh, where they're not going to be marked up to $90, where people who need them won't be able to afford them. And uh, Burlington Coat Factory, uh, there's a lot of those. Uh, we have one in Harrisburg, and we have one in York, and they're they're all over the place. Uh, I remember we had them up in New England. But they are having a coat drive, and they are accepting new and used coats, so you can actually go and donate your coats to Burlington Coat Factory. And uh, they will make sure that your coats go to people who need them and who can use them. And uh, Let me throw something in yes. here. Because Jocelyn won't tell you this. And if she edits this out of the video, I will be up one side of her and down the other. She is going out <laughs> and buying coats for the purpose of donation. Just buying new coats and donating them. Um, she won't tell you this. I will. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Actually, I have all of my dog sweaters. So I am clothing cold dogs this winter <laughs> not clothed clothing cold humans but no this is it's touching us very very it was deeply. upsetting when yes. i saw it this morning it was like <laughs> coats come on like okay yeah. you you're charging 20 dollars for your jeans whatever i think that's a bit much but People can, yeah. yeah. We don't care what you charge for it, the porcelain. Jeans. We can buy it here. We can buy it somewhere but else. But coats. But coats. It's exploiting. In November. The, it is. It's, it's exploiting it, the poor. Yeah. It's wrong. It's just it's wrong. It's wrong. Shame on you. Shame on you. So we are taking our business elsewhere to people who are not exploiting the poor. Hopefully, to people who are actually taking our dollars and using them to help the poor. That would be nice. But certainly. At bare minimum, we want to make sure we're not part of the problem. Yeah. We don't always demand that we be part of the solution, but certainly we're not going to become part of the problem. And we're hoping that this brings some awareness to you as well. You know, so just when you're donating your coats, make sure you know where you're donating them. Make sure you know how much they're charging, you know, because our Goodwill here, the Keystone area Goodwill, their prices are very reasonable. Uh, but I know that other Goodwills, people have sent me screenshots and pictures of prices at other Goodwills in other places in the U.S. Oh, and so they are scary. outrageous. So, I mean, just keep an eye out, you know, if you're, you're donating your stuff. Make sure you know where it's going to. Yeah. And make sure that if you are donating with the idea of putting something into the hands of people who need it, make sure that's where it's going. That's Absolutely. All. Let's just be smart consumers in every aspect of our lives, including our charity. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's really all we wanted to say about that, but and we, we felt it needed to be said. Stay and we will warm. see you guys later. Stay warm. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.